Vanillaware. Have they made other games? They sound familiar. Ooh. Ah, oh, you know what I'm not going to be used to? It's just good artwork and good sort of sound. Um, like sound effects. Coming from uh, Steins Gate and, and playing, you know, a visual novel that was released only a year or two ago. It's going to be like night and day. Please select an audio language. Your audio language can be changed any time in the options menu. I mean, I'm okay with the dub. I'm okay with it. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kisumicho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Straight into the action. a long time ago. This game definitely had a bigger budget than Steins Gate. <laughs> Alright. Am I inside the robot? What the... Where did my clothes go? <laughs> Warning. Dino signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Why did she activate it? Can you hear me? Renya Gunji. What are you? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control any of this. Robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Trying to direct it. You can do it. Okay. Like this? <clears throat> Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nanomachines inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel's sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? 
Tutorial Attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. Okay. Once the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. Okay. So I action, arm mounted machine cannons. Attacks guide you within target area in front of the sentinel with machine cannons. Oh, okay, so it just shoots directly ahead. Got it. Sentry gun. Ah, oh, so it can spawn. Okay. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Oh, it shows you the radius. Okay. Did it? There's more kaiju up ahead. Oh, a lot more. Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? Select action and destroy the enemy using multi-rocket launches. Adjust the attack range with the owl joystick to target as many enemies as possible. We can do this, right? Okay, nice. Back attack. Damage multiplied by 1.5 times multi-rocket launches. Power, I don't know what the WT means. Fires multiple rockets into target area. Quite satisfying to strategize. Can you evacuate? A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. What? Where? Oh. Fuyasaka Kun. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Is that me? I've taken damage. Oh, I've intervened. Okay. Another sentinel's been transmitted behind you, Fuyasaka-kun. But who is it? This is Sentinel number 13. Moving to cover Fuyasaka-san. Karabe, what are you doing here? I can't let this turn out like Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. I remember doing this in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. Select action, then select heavy knuckles. Use L to attack the enemies in front of you while moving around. What now? Excited for this system to open up. That was really cool. Victory. Me? Joe Karabi's story is now available. Looks like no one else's is menu. Ah. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed into the city, destroying everything in its path. It's currently news anchor reports the end of normal life. Among the mass of fleeing citizens stands a group of boys and girls prepared to face the oncoming despair, piloting massive robots called Sentinels. They thrust themselves into the final battle to ensure the survival of mankind. Here are our characters who I'm sure we will meet. There's a lot of them. 13 people. I wonder if that's going to be too overwhelming. A flowchart. Remembrance. Sure, remembrance. Destruction. 
analysis. Destruction, control sentinels, face cross head on. Walk along fragments of the past through the eyes of 13 protagonists. Control the protagonist's experience events that led to the conflict. And analysis, look back on the truths revealed so far from remembrance and destruction. Selection, adventure. Okay. You got the flow chart there. Oh, okay, you choose the people you want to fight. Flow of battle. Our oh, time remaining, so I guess maybe it'll become timed. That'll have some pressure. Destroy the kaiju. And I'm sure all of this will be introduced to us. Sure. Let's do it. Story of Juro Karabi. How good is the art? Oh, I can only compare this to Steins Gate at the moment. What is going on? <laughs> Shiba-kun. Basic controls. Use outer move. Press X to talk to people. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the thought uh, cloud to select and contemplate words. She becomes a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Talk to Shiba again. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Some keywords can be used on other characters. When this option is available, a triangle will appear above their head. Oh, but it's a red. Oh, okay. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing this stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Hold circles and move faster. Oh. Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. A girl showing up in a teenage boy's dreams? That's weird. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> and then she shows. I can't help but be. Because that just repeats. Okay, so. Hey, but I saw that one video up for rent. Oh. The one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep. Gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, he's gone. Uh, it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. 
It's tough to get a hold of these days. Oh, I can even move forward and back. Wow. Okay. There are other people. Get the bag. Shall we go home, Asami chan? Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's Nanji kun right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but Yuri-chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... Okay, got pushed out of there. It's... Nanji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but... Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Hmm. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What a lot of dream talk. What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. Uh, sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. Let's. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. She's a, where's she going? going to. Oh, that's the way out. Okay. I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. I love the view from the old classroom. But the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. I talk to her. Nope. Everyone's training hard with their teams. They're really supporting But seriously, Mami Gucci. Maybe I should join We gotta catch too. that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video it's games. It's about time for me to go home. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. No, I guess... Maybe we'll get to know her later. Let's Ami consider Gucci not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. So, let's go. Kurabi-kun? Um... Hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? She like a class rep or something. Is this it? I yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Oh, 
I can't do anything with it. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Nope, let's go back. I nearly missed you. Additional controls. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Fast forwarding will automatically pause on unread text. That's really handy. And press the pad to view the text log. Press options to open the pause menu. It's like manual to view the controls. Is there anything more I can do here? Oops. Excuse me. How good is the lighting? She's not here. Looks beautiful. Everything's like um, almost like it's hand drawn or hand painted. It looks really good. What should I do with these papers? Read. Them. Can I just leave them here? Read them. <clears throat> There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabe kun I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Karabe-kun, how is your current condition? What condition? My condition? You know, any heart palpitations, dizziness, headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Having dreams. Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine, really. I see. If you'll excuse me. still here? Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Same day heading home. <sighs> Something wrong? He couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey. I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. 
The first in what will become a long-running series. Talk to you anymore. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Oracle? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? The Oracle. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Oh. Your, your forehead, forehead is glowing. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't Damn. tell me. Are you? I activated it. What was that? Over there. Wait, what the heck? Is that a robot? He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. So he knew. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? be continued oh mystery files obtained event archives obtained what are they all right your story is now available can i um can i see what those files are to change settings but I can't choose him again I can't move <laughs> 8 30 a.m heading to school oh this is the believe, 80s 1985 I can't believe I slept through my alarm I didn't notice that before. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Almost there. <laughs> Ow! Hey, you all right? <laughs> Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Left her book. Huh? Did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Naori Fuyusaka. Hmm. Might be worth looking into. All the background stuff, like the cat, the bird. Uh, like all that set dressing, it looks so Yuri good. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You were sound asleep. Class is over. The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? 
I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? You a chance my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan... Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Is she into it? Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Cute guy has been added to the Thought Club. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Mm, crepes. crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me, and then I woke up. Uh... Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan, don't break the door. I didn't! This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. It's not unusual for a school to be a little bit old, right? 
Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. I'm not gonna remember these names for like <laughs> a while. <laughs> Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Is that the cat that we saw? Oh yeah, that was me saying that. Yep, yep. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? Yep. You've seen it too, Miwa-chan? All the time. Dang. No fair, I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. <laughs> Break time. Old building passageway. Hey, there it is. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Oh! Hey! I found you! Hi, kitty! What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Fuyasaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. What's the... Maybe I need to take it to someone else. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? 
Can I use it now? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. <sighs> I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... <laughs> Class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. What could... But I had the triangle that I couldn't use. Interesting. Tutorial. Beginning of the end. Okay. So, wave one, wave two. Episode one, episode two. Interesting. Another battle. Oh yeah. I got in this robot and So this must be the dream. Oh, good. Looks like you're okay. Kurabikun. Fuyasaka san. Everything you said came true. We got kaiju everywhere. more on the way. Can you get your sentinel up? I'll try, but I think it might be broken in some places. You're in a second generation sentinel. It weighs around 2200 tons. With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? Daimos. They're the kaiju. That's uh. them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D-Force's invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Okay. Make your way toward the terminal, which is the invader's target. Tutorial, move. Choose a sentinel and select move from the menu. Use L to move the cursor to where you want to go, then press X to start moving. Okay. Well, I should move her because she's closest, right? I've got to do this. I'm going to move her here, right? Let's move it to the corner. Number 15, moving out. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Tutorial lost condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown on the top left screen. I might move my camera so you can see what's going to be. No, not you. I think that might be better. Okay. So 
So damage to the terminal is shown in the top left of the screen if this defense gauge is depleted or even if one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Okay. Uh, switching pilots. You can switch the pilots you control with the D-pad. Change up pilots depending on the situation. What do I do? Bunch there. Plus a hundred EP. Expire within target area in front of Sentinel. Just watch. Got it. Got it. Aegis activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your Sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Maybe move down here. You're in the Sentinel. Yeah. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's Sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino Kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his Sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. <sighs> we made it. Cool. Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is now available. Slowly, slowly. All right. Sundown at the Toki Saka Shrine. 1944. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. Or is that the, the sooner time? I'm out of here, the better. Is that the time, or is that like the year? That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? It has to be the year. Not that it matters. Okay. Right. Kiriko Huh? So you came after me, Hijiyama Kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't 
planning to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... She built it in the 40s. Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, <clears throat> is blushing. I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... So is that? No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory... You said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. Ouch. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> That's it. This is goodbye. <coughs> Damn. Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. What does it mean? Sally? It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Behind this tree? Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. I might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. So they're time traveling. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Kiriko Doji. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Looks a bit young to be the father of that... That lady, right? That woman. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! He was a, a guy. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? 
If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some petty dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went? Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Being sent to the future. Sunset, Katie River, Riverbed, 1985. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching him, son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? That looks delicious. Hey, it's me. Oh, is that like I've come to live with noodles, stir fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread? I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. That sounds delicious. Is it real? If that's real. Don't what? give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You want to apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry you don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san. I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? We, yeah, this guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. So I used to be this real orderly professional person, now I've just like growing my hair out, stealing clothes, just getting by, doing my own thing. Hey, don't you walk away! Come on! <sighs> my yakisoba pot! I didn't even get a single bite! You just made a big mistake, punk. Get you got a problem with me, buddy? Get him. You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. You heard him, boys. Stop! We're sorry! Look! What gets you another snack, man? I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Silva Pon. Hell happened. I thought you called me out for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. 
but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Oh, we're gonna do this. Come at me. Now you're bro. gonna regret it. What's that? What the? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. That yeah. was the girl. Just cut her hair. It's actually oh, going. No. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Just out of my way, damn it! Yeah, fight him. Before dawn. Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Back here. Get in the car. Going up the stairs. Looks like it's locked. Oh. Through the window? So he dresses up. Okay. Guess you found me. Kiriko san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I. I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so. Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yaki soba pan. You're forgiven. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yaki soba pan for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never! Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? That's what he said before, right? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> Let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? 
Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Is she serious? She says she built this... So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids, and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. So, from what I understand, a sentinel had appeared in the 1940s, and that had caused a bit of a situation. But she's not really alluding to, like, how that happened or why, as far as I could understand. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then... You can ask me to do whatever you want. Hmm. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <laughs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Can't do anything with the uniform. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn, and go get some breakfast. Nope. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is yakisoba pawn. 
Not much I could do. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Oh, I couldn't eat it. Using powerful armaments will consume energy. EP is gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend. Okay. When you use defend, you'll be unable to move temporarily. Make use of it strategically. Try using the armament leap attack.
all of them? Skills by gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen will increase. You can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with triangle. Use the meta skills. Uh, use the meta skill phase plasma EMP. Oh, cool. skill you can currently use in battle is phase plus no EMP and you can only use it once. Once terminal enhance enhancements are available you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. It said back attack. Oh, there we go. How's that? Try again. Oh, there's more. Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate, and if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, hijiyama -kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Mm. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through. Oh. Tsuno Minami's story is now available. 
Yes. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it here for tonight. But this is really good. I'm really liking it so far. I'm loving the battle aspect too. It's a bit different. Like something to break up the, um, the novel sections. So, yeah, a bit of that strategy involved. I really like it. I think it's, um... Yeah, it'll continue to grow and be a bit more complex and, and dynamic. But, um, I'm loving it so far. Yeah, I can see I've got meta chips and mystery points. I wonder what they mean. How they play into everything. Anyway, have a good night. Back to tomorrow. See ya. Bye.